Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you when you are watching this. I just want to say happy Therapeutic Tuesday. This is a moment we need to usa. So, we haven't done this in a long time, so I'm going to bring it back. Let me turn so I can look at you. So, this is what we're going to do. Because things are moving really fast right now. There's a lot of pressure going on. Your boss might have like end of the quarter um, projects that you have to get done. You might have your own end of the quarter projects that have to get done. The end of the month that we have to get done. We're working on those things. There's so many things. There's the holidays coming. People are going to be traveling. There's so many things. People have lost loved ones. For some of us, this is the first time we're going to have to be without specific people that mean so much to us. So there's so many just different reasons why we can be very stressed right now we can be so overwhelmed and you know what what winds up happening is we're so busy doing all of these things we're not basking in the moment and the days just go right by the worst thing i can call or should i say i can recall doing is planning for big events whether it's a birthday or a holiday or a wedding or whatever. And I'm so excited, right? Just so excited about all of the things that I'm going to do. And I want to buy these decorations and I want it to look like this. And, you know, I'm excited. But then when you get into getting all of these things, you become overwhelmed, right? And then what winds up happening is, you're like, oh, I just can't wait for this day to come so it can be over with, so I can go on with my life. And then when that day comes, you, you can enjoy it, but you don't get the full effect of it, enjoying it because you allowed yourself to get so stressed, so overwhelmed. Like right now, we're all we're planning for Christmas, a lot of people, not everybody. But those of us who do plan for Christmas, although I'm not even going to get into when Christ is born, doesn't matter, this is the day that we celebrate it. Okay, with that being said, we can get so caught up on, we have to get the decorations out and what kind of tree and all of this stuff. If you do a live tree versus an artificial tree, doesn't matter. We still got to get the tree up, right? Those of you who do it, still got to get the gifts, still got to get them wrapped, got to get all of these things done, got to get all the food, and it can become overwhelming. So what I want you to do, especially those of you who are like traveling and you're trying to get good tickets and you know, all these different things that can happen to take your focus off of the reason you're doing these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to smell the roses and blow out the candles. Come on, do it with me. Again, really deep. Hold it. Release it. One more time. That's the first thing I want you to do. The second thing I want you to do Every time you see yourself getting stressed, you see yourself getting angry, you're about ready to pop off on somebody, you know, because they're pissing you off or whatever, whatever, this is what I want you to do. I want you to grab your hands as tight as you can and just tense your body up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Release. I don't know why but when you hold your body extremely tight and then release it it just does something it just like 
releases so much tension all in your shoulders and everything. The last thing I want you to do, and I'm about to let you go because we're at 16, well, five minutes. What I want you to do today is take a really good walk. If you can walk by yourself in a safe environment and just go on a walk, skip, hop, walk and run and act crazy, whatever it is, just to get your focus off of everything that you got done. What you're not allowed to do in this walk is think about all of the stuff that you have to do. No, no, this is stress relief. So we're not going to think about the things that put stress on us in this moment. In this moment, we want to stop and look at nature, talk to God, think about why we're grateful for all of the things that are going on. Thank God for allowing us to see this day. Thank God for allowing us to move our limbs. Even if you have to walk in your house, walk in place for about a good 15 minutes. It's okay. There's a woman, Leslie Nielsen or Layson or something like that. Just do the one mile walk. It's the 15 minute walk. You can do it in your living room, do it in your bedroom. 15 minutes, it's a mile. Just, I don't want you thinking about all of the stuff that you normally think about because that's what brings that stress. So we want to open up those the uh, receptors and let those endorphins come in. So I just want you to give yourself a really good walk. I don't care if it's 15 minutes. I don't care if it's five minutes. Get up, move your body. I might do a walking video later on today, just so, well, later on this morning so that we can get it done. But I just want you guys to not go through the motions. I want you present and enjoying these moments of your life because guess what? You don't get them back. And you never know when the last one truly is. So with that being said, thanks for tuning in to Cali Sun Standing with Pooh Bear. I'm your girl Pooh Bear. Share, click, like, subscribe if you haven't. But you guys, let's have the best time every moment of the day. Turn that music on. Sing off key. I don't care. Enjoy yourself. Because we don't know when our last moments are going to be. All right, now. God loves you. You better love you. Because I love you. Okay. Bye-bye for now.